Hello now. That's a new stream and probably it's my last one about gear, crafting, why, where, how, etc. Because really soon probably I'll move to another game. I have reached the maximum for myself. I'm happy with the game. It's all good, all assorted, but I want to share with you how I've done it and why I've done it. I'll just show you in here fast uh, that my corruption level at this moment is 1957 and my build was nerfed three times, but that doesn't stop me. I can continue easy with 3000 corruption with this uh, gear and uh, uh, like uh, build and everything that I've done and I have prepared for you uh, like four keys for the dungeons that I need three uh, chests like a basic craft and I'll like try three times to extract dexterity tire 7 max roll 2024 20, and these uh, chests are 10 tall attributes legendary potential for the build that build that I'm running I need only two things on the chest. I need uh, dexterity and I need a minion, minions damage. Uh, it's really hard to find chest that is body armor, body armor with the bolt, uh, like good rolls and this one legendary potential is 400 mil mil million gold. So when you're crafting you need to know what is the most important thing? What is the most beneficial? Because it's much cheaper. That body armor with 10 to all attributes is around 11 million. So I have 33 million here in uh, body armors and these max rolls are like 3 million per piece. So I would say 40, 45 million are only these. This one is 11 million as well. Dexterity with legendary potential 3. And here I have Dexterity and Minion Damage, so I have two. Plus eventually, if it takes Mana Regen, it will be absolutely fantastic. Dexterity is the most important thing. Minion Damage in my case is the next one and Mana Regen is really important. My Apogees, two Apogees, these are like 1 billion gold each with these crafts. Uh, so my Helmet, I have extracted Dexterity and Minion Damage. I have... Uh, Minion damage and dexterity plus two beneficial physical and elemental to me on my gloves. That is really nice and one to all attributes. That gives me cold damage as well. It's a multiplier to me. My uh, boots are dexterity extracted. My old relic that I want to change into advanced upgrade. It's 16 dexterity plus 7 dexterity on the bottom. And uh, minion ball damage as well. It's really cool. Uh, the amulet, it's not, uh, it's not cheap to buy, that's why I'm extracting only one statistic. I've been unlucky and I've extracted mana regen and physical resistance. That is not bad, but it's much better if it's like 100 minion damage. I've prepared 106 minion damage and uh, mana regen tier 5. Sadly, failed. It will be billions and billions that roll. I'm playing with this uh, body armor at this moment. I'm built it on mana regen, but I want to go to super, super tanky because you see gain damage immunity for three seconds after being hit. So once you've been hit with any source, for example, poison or whatever, poison doesn't kill you straight, but you're getting full immunity to everything and you can nuke massive damage at the end of the boss fights or whatever. This is super solid build. And uh, yeah, so how you're doing it? You're pressing I button and you need this temporal sanctum key. That's a dungeon. Right button, if you don't know where it is, you just remember tem temporal sanctum, sanctum. And press right button and automatically show you where it is. So it's ruined era, bottom left, temporal sanctum press on it, travel, or ask someone to open you. Don't forget it in the games, it's multiplayer. Ask someone to help you, if you don't have the waypoint. And then, 
Open the door, put the key. You see, you have a slot. Enter Sanctum. Depends on what level of item is. You see, the unique item, it's 50 plus, 65. Uh, I'm sorry, up to 50, up to 65, up to 75, and no limit. So this one is 80. The unique is 80. This one, the unique is 45. So for the first one, I need to go. For this one, I'm sorry, I need to go even. I can do even this one because it's a 48 required level. But for these chests, for these body armors, I need to go to the maximum. I've never done actually the maximum, or I don't remember have I done it. So it's first time for me as well. In this dungeon, see it's blinking D button when you press it. You're changing, it's like underground and overground. We are, the dark side is the underground, that's over the ground. Like, let's say, hell and heaven, or whatever you want to call it. But the thing is that you need to pass through, See, you can see the door of the dungeon on the top level, and on the bottom level you don't see it, it's blocked. So you're getting to area that it's logically to move through and pass through. For example, here you have these like bars, steel bars that is blocked. And when you press D, see this one is unblocked. Sometimes both of they will be blocked and you need to walk around. But the whole point is use underground and overground just to move around. On the wall, you have entrance for the second level of the dungeon so see this one is blocked so i need to go back it's blocked on the both sides take your take your time and keep always one of the walls like you have three walls that you can walk around and it's on one of them is the entrance and it will be blinking like a circle it will be like pulsating slowly slowly i'll show and i'll explain you what what is going on uh, and when i go to the point that i've killed the boss i'll explain you why i'm doing the dungeon and why why you're crafting what's the whole point so now it's blinking i can't go you see i'm trying not a chance so press d again and now you see active door so press the door proceed tells you just warns you that it's getting much difficult um. Obviously, it's a little bit laggy. Exactly the same here. Only one and boom, the second entrance. So, it's blocked. It is unblocked. Obviously, you can get really good uh, items in here, like minion damage. You can see till you're doing this uh, dungeon. It's lots of uh, uh, uniques in here, not uniques, lots of items in here. There can be crafting materials or everything that you need. This is a really good one. If you die, be sure that you have more keys. To me, it will take some time. I hope that the entrance is not down the bottom. But if it is, I'll lose some time and I'll go back to check it. If I'm lucky, it will be somewhere in here. Take your timing here because you don't want to die, because you'll start from the beginning if you do that. And uh, you lose the key. These keys are not so hard to obtain, but if you're a, a beginner, 
see that's the second gate and this is the boss level so i'm doing exactly the same so enemy damage enemy health i'm not absolutely bothered about this because i'm super super tough i'm end game i'm doing 2000 corruption corruption ish so this boss i need to absolutely destroy it always in that area you have a chest that chest you can open it by the way i want to check the stream give me a second to see how my camera is and everything is it moving smooth can you hear me normal i know that uh, the quality of the sound is not perfect but it is what it is so that's the one it's not not too bad it's in central so let's continue proceed the boss fight prepare because it's a nuke the boss is like pumping up a purple blast that it takes like two seconds three seconds before it explodes then press d and avoid the blast and come back and kill the boss or just like me nuke the boss and they raise it from the ground it's a good uh, good items in here you can farm actually this dungeon for items if you're a beginner see attunement on glove star 7 this is super expensive for some builds i'm not bothered for tire six especially you know these like wings or whatever this i i'm tire six not good for me i have 200 plus stashes 260 stashes full with items so to me this is c le legendary potential one it always drops gloves on this area obviously i can't claim that but now you're getting here and see that a rock eternity cash that's actually your crafting bench you have your chest in here that you can keep your items in there not in your stash i've done it only for the stream and uh, i would say you here you should have two windows don't panic press d go the opposite side and bam you have this one now in here and see what it what it's uh, written seal a unique item with legendary potential and an exalted item with four affixes each item must be of the same type so chest with chest body armor with body armor this one i have legendary potential one you can see um it's uh, under the armor and you're putting it on left so that color needs to be on the left side and this is the actually exalted item and i have four statistics you see dexterity that when you press uh, and hold alt you can see prefixes and suffixes i have two prefixes and two suffixes so it will extract because it's legendary potential one it will extract only one of them i want to extract dexterity because it's what i need mostly but the chances i would say 25 percent but it might happen from the first time it might happen after 50 times 25 percent means nothing this is like gambling so don't uh, plan it yeah i'll do it from the first time blah 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 you need to be ready to lose this money this is just part of the game the, that gold it will be waste trash and you need to do it again and again to craft my weapons i have felt nearly three billion gold three billion and i have felt nearly 47 weapons single and double legendary potential now the prices are much cheaper but uh, for example this is max rolling here 24 more gold and it costs only the base is 50 million gold without the second weapon that you're destroying and to have this it's really really hard and expensive to obtain them it's uh, it took me one month that weapon i've crafted it yesterday one month nearly 600 hours of gameplay and that's my second weapon done and this is not LP3 or LP4. LP3 is like half billion gold the base and it's easy to like fail and blah blah blah. Okay, anyway. So let's make the first gamble. I hope that it will happen from the first time. It will be a great video if that thing happened. And let's see. So the items, they disappear. You can't open it anymore. Don't panic again. Press D again. And you're getting to the opposite side. And boom, it is lightning resistance. So this is straight into the bin. And uh, first one failed. 
I have uh, three more tries. Uh, so all fails. So I'll put them. Let's see. You see how many stashes I have. That's my last one. So the fail is getting in there. And I'll remove these uh, items from myself. And I'll keep these. So boom, 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 boom. And next try. To go back to the dungeon in here and to craft it to try to have another try, you have press the key. See you're on that point. You're passing through that area. Press this one and travel. And it will tel teleport you at the entrance again. So I'm getting again to this uh, difficulty. And I'm repeating it now. I'll be super surprised if it uh, happens uh, from these three tries. Usually takes much more. If I fail, it will be an easy proof how nasty and expensive can be. I won't be disappointed. I'm doing this video for you. Just to make you... Like, not waste on your own the gold with some expectations that uh, this will happen, that will happen, it can happen or it can fail. Simple as that. So it's blocked both sides. Uh, but uh, sometimes still we're making the dungeon and uh, you can find really expensive items. And uh, to be honest, the last time when I've been doing this dungeon, a wand with legendary potential tree dropped and I've just, like this morning I've sold it. Uh, after two days waiting, I've sold it for 47 million. And because I've sold it, and I've decided to invest the money just to make the video. That, uh, you know, this is all, you see how cheeky and tricky it is. I'll be really happy if that thing happened because uh, that, that uh, chest is not mandatory for my build but I want to test it for some boss fights I want to swap my chest just for the boss fights to see is it like acceptable What's this? because a uh, boss fight to me takes nearly 3 minutes to kill the boss on that uh, level and uh, the only reason is that I don't feel safe to nuke so I think that if I change my play style, game style, I'll, I'll be able with this chest to, to kill the boss for 30 seconds, let's say. Because I'll make, I'll have 3 seconds new windows. I'm using it at the beginning of the boss fight. After that, I'll try to avoid, of course, the damage. Uh, or I can do something totally different to use plus 3 seconds when it activates on me. I'll check how it is. I'm uh, clicking uh, the wrong button in there. Not bad belt, for beginners, for me it's useless, but for beginners and even average players, I would say. Okay, so I'll need luck. I need lots of luck. And 
I have a ring with legendary potential. Uh, okay, so hat with armor. What level? 6 times 6. Elemental. It's bad. Okay, so I'm doing exactly the same. I'm getting to here. Okay, you know the procedure now. And. So, second fail. Press M. Teleport. Or the key, right button. Do it again. Again, you see two, two fails. And. Uh, really hard I'll leave my chest in there that's a second it will take another I would say 10 minutes to pass through the dungeon sometimes he's super lucky just at the beginning in here but like now this is actually the worst At least it's not so. Um, it wasn't a total waste of time. This time was the first wall. So you can imagine how I have extracted two statistics out of four. How hard it is. It's easier to extract one statistic that you need. That is 25 pure percent than two out of four. Two out of four is much harder. I'll go on left side this time. I don't know why I'm thinking that it might be on left. Lots of mobs, lots of NPCs. Time penetration, let's go back. Let's check the idol as well. Nope. I don't believe that it will be in the corner in there. I'll take my chances. Lucky with the dungeon, maybe unlucky with the craft again. Come on. Okay, so third fail. I'm not happy, but what I can do. Here I have these prepared as well. Bleed chance, bleed chance, you see, two times the same statistic. And now I have this one, the last one, actually. Oops. I hope that at least this one it won't fail. 
and uh, the stream is 24 minutes so 25 minutes maybe per on average I'll do it again the level 4 looks like more items to me like a good reasonable items lots of amulets Okay, okay, after that I'll explain you how to craft the other items. I'm trying to Obviously, I'll need to go on the left side. I don't see any painting logical. Okay, let's smash it.
you can see I've nearly died. But, 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 but. And now at least I hope that this one will happen. This is super expensive as well. So I need dexterity and minion damage at least. And mana regen. Perfect. Come on, at least one. Super fail. So I have four super failed items. The <laughs> four super failed items. <sighs> Bad stream. At least I can try to craft this item. Have a ring in here that I was crafting. Minion damage. It's not bad. Chains to ignite. Physical and void. So another fail. Necrotic damage. Necrotic damage. Cool down recovery with dodge. This is super react and super cool. Necrotic. I would say that uh, I would say that I would I, I will leave it like that. Mana regen. I need shred armor. Fail. Lightning penetration, so I need. Definitely not area. I need. Uh... Oh my god. Minion damage. Minion Danish and Mana Regen then. Fail again. Here you did Shred Arbor. Absolute trash. This morning it's all bad, all useless. Spell damage, freeze rate, no. Draw damage, no. No. Mana regen, yeah, damage over time taken, no. Elemental resistance. Health instructions, fire resistance, no. That's crazy. And that's all, guys. Sadly, fail, fail, fail. The next good item that I that I sell, it might help me. And I just can't believe how bad the RNG is in this game. I can show you what I mean because if you think that I'm chatting shit, this one, this one, this one fail, these are preparations, double fail. So this one is okay for single actually. It's so, a like medium item. Fail. 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 
That's not bad. It's the worst because it was tier 7 against tier 5 of this. So it's it's fail but it's not bad. This is fail. So these are preparations. Fail, fail. Here how fail with an expensive item as well. Double fail. This is another failed because it's only the dexterity. So you can see how many so how many of these I have done. And you need to do that all these swords. You see 22 penetration with a bow. These cost lots of lots of money. All of them. This one fail. Like what I can say guys. This one I've sold this type of uh, wand. Legendary potential 3 for 47 million. This one is good base. If this is legendary potential 3, it's 60 65 million. Elemental with dodge. Call them physical. To be honest, I'll uh, put this ring back because it's 16 dex. This is 8% more damage and it's 9% uh, cooldown. Cooldown. It's uh, really, really not bad. So, one, 193 dex. So, let's craft something for you. Let's explain you what the whole point is. Let's write down, for example, void. Oh. So see this one melee void damage is super strong. But the top base it's melee damage. It should be melee void damage in there as well. You need a double craft. This is what I'm trying to find. A good base to show you how exactly it should be. See on the top melee damage and melee void damage. It increases void damage. So when I take this one, if here goes to melee void damage this base like that with these statistics will go to i would say 30 to 40 million easy sell melee attack speed definitely not body chains definitely not and critical strike chains it's even worst chance to bleed reroll chance to ignite shit so this goes to super fail. Here shred armor will be chance to shred. Nope, in that case void penetration. See this one. So if I have these two on void void and then you craft here void penetration. I don't have the other flat void. That is sad story. The tax could go to insane amount of money, but now it's failed. That's why I'll go for another.
<lacht> Hopp. See what melee void in physical penetration. So this is bad in general. I need that tax that I've showed you, that base. If you want it, that's the one. But see on the bottom, really bad. Lightning penetration. Bola fell. If it was void penetration, wow. Void damage, that's a good belt. I'm just giving you how to craft a void weapon, for example. If you want necrotic, you see this is for necrotic. So you need here uh, necrotic damage, necrotic penetration, and all the same. If you want lightning, it's lightning penetration, lightning fly, flat, lightning critical with spells, but it needs to be the base the same. This is physical penetration, for example. So this melee void damage, it's not, not okay, it's not cool. This is spell and spell. So spell, this is good. And on the bottom is spell as well. So this is extremely good base. That melee void, if it goes to spell or critical multiplier, so lightning damage. That's cool. That's super cool. Minion spell. And here you're getting to lightning penetration. That's good. Spell lightning damage. Increase spell damage. Mana cost reduced. Spell damage. That's super cool. Now I need some luck in here. Not too bad. That will go for a, I would say, easy, easy 40 million. I'm happy with it. It's not tier 5, but... Poison resistance with melee damage. So... Poison penetration. Not good at all. This one, intellect. Let's see another base. Chance to apply fra frailty. If you have shred in here, it can go to cold. I made a mistake in here. Necrotic. Necrotic damage. That means that I need to reroll this one. Mana re regeneration with necrotic. It's not bad. So now I need shred armor in here. Health and stun. Nope. Poison resistance, necrotic resistance. This is not so bad because you got crit chance, necrotic damage, mana regen. This is for some of the builds and I'm not locking it. So it can be sold for like 4 to 6 million. Um, min minion damage, minion health on gloves. This one is not too bad as well. Let's check what I can do with it. Lots of people need minion health. I won't touch it in there. So I'll try to roll. Increase stun chance. This is good. And chance to shred armor on hit. I'll leave the base like that and I'll leave it to them to decide craft risk or whatever this is 26 movement that is the minimum but it starts 7 this is super important and i would recommend you to craft two things intellect or uh, increase effect of haste on you 
intellect or dexterity. But I'll leave it just like that. Void resistance and necrotic, lightning, not good. Armor, it's armor base. 20. Don't touch it more than that. Because they can craft dex or int. It's up to them, the people that will buy it. They can use it just for a single base to extract the movement speed. So another base that you need. This is minion damage, minion critical strike chance. So cold damage, cold minion, tire 5, this is locked. Nothing good, good can happen. I don't need this one. What else I can do? Minion spell. Melee damage. And melee minion, melee and melee. So melee void. And void. This is actually phew, interesting. Stun chance is useless. First at all, I'll try to go to tile 4. That's the one. The most important is to extract one. That doesn't happen. And locked me stun chance. Sadly, it doesn't happen. Level up stun. Apply frailty. Nope. It's not bad in general. But not for minion type of builds. Shock. Shock, shock, shock. Press D. Uh, no, it's not D. It's G. And right shock. So shock. Shock reduce lightning resistance by 5%, increase chance that blah 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 blah. So shock, it's not working for you, it's for lightning damage. Stun chance. Stun void melee. Maybe. That's just maybe. Maybe I'll try for some millions. To me, in general, failed, but you never know. Someone might need something similar. Crit chance, damage over time. Uh, damage over time and crit chance and multiplier, that doesn't work. Minion damage with damage over time. Let's check my randomizer. Fire damage with minion damage. This is much better. And I'll leave it just like that. Freeze rate. This is for some kind of cold. So with these statistics, the blue one, you need to use this one. Rune of research. Extracted it, it's getting down. But it's consuming potential. And then you have freeze multiplier. Chance, minion damage, cold, melee, strength. I would say That's not bad at all.
and here I'll leave it to them. Health on melee, hit health on kill. And here I need melee void. That's cool. So for Cyclone or whatever, this is not bad at all. Self-leaching. Leave, leave it like that. You are just targeting whatever might be top. Melee Void with melee damage cold penetration so if it goes to void stun chance with melee attacks maybe not bad and here It's not bad. That's not bad. Melee damage. Melee damage, melee void, this is not bad, because it's transformed to void. Okay, so next one, melee physical, increase void damage. Melee damage, increase physical. This is automatically sellable like that, without any touch. Melee damage, critical strike multiplier. This is... Melee Void, it, if I go to Void, Melee Crit Chance, that's not bad at all. Because it's, Multiplier will be even better. Poison Penetration is bad, let's, let's try to change this one. Okay, Minion Melee, so this is some kind of eventual penetration void was the only super option but i'll leave it like that this is for necrotic minion necrotic so melee damage leeches life void damage so i need to roll it to necrotic in here poison nope melee physical Melee Necrotic, no. Damage over time, I'm not sure. See, you have damage over time, damage over time for minions. I have no idea. Here, Necrotic. Sadly, all finished, but maybe it's sellable. Void damage, throwing damage, nope. I need void. Crit chance mana regen, no, I need crit multiplier. Chance to apply future strike on melee hit. Definitely multiplier. <laughs> 
physical. Why it's not void? It's all su such a big fail. Maybe. I'm throw throwing damage. This bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Mana regen. Ah, two, three million. So, I need to remove chance to poison and cold damage. Cold damage, melee void, super. Yeah. Penetration. Chance to poison void. This is not bad because melee void plus void. And might be sellable. Melee, melee elemental, elemental with uh, increase elemental melee attack speed. Okay. Mana regen. Maybe, but I would remove one of those. Melee void, melee damage, absolutely not. Damage over time for minions. Nope. Next. Void resistance potions, it's bad. Void resistance, mana. Dodge rating with mana. Let's try to do something like mana mana. Nope. Dodge is good. Thirty and forty, so I'll go to max. Damage over time, chance to bleed. Then bleed is over time. Okay, so now I want to roll. Implicit. 47 dodge rating, 37 damage over time. Not too bad. 40 and 48. 97 dodge rating. Okay, it's getting interesting. And now, next one. So this one is cold plus poison base and is nearly max. 47 is the max. You see on the belt on the top, spider silk stash. It's 47 max. Your cold is star 6. But for most of the minion builds like mine, for example, ballista, minions or whatever, you're sacrificing with this belt. I'm sorry, with these boots, you're sacrificing physical and cold resistance. So belt I'm minus 50 minus 55 and minus 77 physical. I don't mind because my build is like that. But you might do attempt. Let, let's see. You need mana regen first. 
Necrotic damage. Necrotic damage is a good base. And you can do minion damage. And necrotic goes good. Void resistance is not recommended. But you can try to upgrade the necrotic. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Nearly swapped it. That's good. Max roll on necrotic and minion. But there are low or rolls. Three of them. I, I will just gamble for to try to go to 60-60. And I'll go like that with the yellow. Reroll the va value value of all affixes and use this one because might get for free doesn't get for free but it's much better because necrotic it's average like in the in like 48 it's in the middle of 40 to 60 ish and uh, increased minion damage is nearly max cold resistance is minimum this is really fail void resistance is nearly minimum that is fell as well but this is not bad belt for people that are super struggling a lot with the cold resistance and they want some minion necrotic there are lots of builds like that necrotic damage plus cold necro cold you have mitigation in there so this is decks with mana regen and mana regen on the top this uh, this one can be easily done like that. Three, four, try like that. And this is what you need. And now you you will go because you have mana regen once. You'll go to minion damage. Minion damage. And do it like that. Lightning resistance is good for the regen and just go like that to ma max tire as, as much as you can and now gamble the last one. Stun avoidance is not bad ring at all. And you have once to try to do the max roll of dexterity and the minion damage so you can go with the blue scroll that is glyph of hope and after that you're getting here to uh, yellow one that it's rune you, you're uh, all affixes affixes suffix and prefix is called affix so you're getting 12 51 brilliant and mana engine on the top is 7 to 12 i won't touch it anymore because it's max and that's absolutely crazy ring honestly mine my ring my ring only because of these three dexterity that is more, da more damage this is 37 31 oh my god this is super cool ring i'll sell this ring for at least at least 40 million believe or not good 40 million ring so now we are getting to the next one Hell of arrows. That's not bad because it's ball damage. Dusk Shroud is bullshit, so try to roll it. Uh, little Mirage. Mana Fish Little Mirage. That's not bad at all. Dodge rating. So you have once dodge. Try to reroll health. It's not the worst, but dodge percent will be much better. But sadly... So go... Little Mirage, so what, what it is. That's not uh, here. Source physical melee area movement dexterity. Become immune for a duration and 
Doppel strike near targets with six mirages. But it's melee, it's not ball. Not sure. I'll go to the next one. Minion damage. That's a good base. And I'll show you what, you, what you're doing in that case. Because it's tier, tier 5. You split it, remove it with rune of research. And you have vitality. Vitality is not bad and you're putting uh, movement speed. With the blue scroll. So this is what you have, vitality, physical, I would, I, I would uh, swap this one to whatever, necrotic, necrotic and void is brilliant, honestly, and this is getting to max roll, and mm, it could be better, I was planning to re-roll, but this is minion damage, vitality, movement. This is for the squirrels. This is really nice. Okay, so this is not bad. Boots. What else I would take from my stash? This is low roll. I have no plan to invest in that. Void resistance, fire resistance, lightning resistance. Okay. Okay. Let's craft something. What's that? M melee life leeched. Mitigation applies to damage. It's a bad roll, but it's still not bad. <laughs> so, melee, melee damage leeches life. That's the one, melee attack speed. Shred will be nice. Cold. And health not bad, but it's a low roll. It's something for 2-3 million. Many people would appreciate something basic that at the beginning or gain on potion use this is super strong build okay throw damage brilliant fire resistance definitely not armor brilliant It's armor base. You need double armor. And I will leave it like that. If someone wants more, these gloves are super insane. Armor and ward.
super for endgame mages with special throw mm, throw damage hold on I'll, I'll 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 try sadly failed but it's super expensive as well i'll put it for 20 million physical damage and critical multiplier wow this is super strong this is a super strong base super happy void resistance i won't put it i'll put shred you don't have shred so let's check what you have endurance chance to apply frailty endurance flat endurance is good and endurance threshold is good as well so let's try with a higher health okay then ah it finished it has finished but this is uh, good for extraction i have one more Four squares to craft or two belts maybe. Lightning resistance travel skills cooldown. Poison damage. So travel skills. That's crazy belt. Poison damage is bad. Fingers crossed. Not bad at all. You need cooldown down reduction that's it now extract it and now put mana regen or minion damage That's super cool. That's super brutal. I decided to make it double world. And this is even better. I just need world. I need world. Word on potion. Not bad. Lightning damage and I need another. I have upgraded because you see world gained on potion intellect is important the other one is some world but you have 100% chance to cleanse 
increase increase health this is like i would say easy sell two three million as well easy sell not more than two million probably but not bad at all all attributes damage over time lightning damage absolutely big no so damage over time it's something that is getting to mana regen with lightning damage I, you you need a multiplier fire damage with multiplier fire throw not sure that it's possible to be solved I need dodge again. Failed. So what? Portion. Maybe, maybe, maybe one, two million. Void resistance base with armor, critical strike chance. War gain or potion use. Crit chance, I would go to multi. multiplier and now I'll go to this is fire resistance Shred armor. And now I would spin it with this. Really bad. Ninety eight percent shred is cool plus it's not bad. Void resistance is cool as well. So you have fire, some cold, void. Fire could go better, but to be more attractive at least forty. But crit chance is seventy four. This is expensive. Minion health crit strike chance. I'll go to statistics. Flat statistics. Lightning damage is fail. So in that case, Dex, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.
dodge. Super cool. Or physical. Where is physical resistance here? If I'm lucky. I'll leave it like that. I'm not touching it. This is cool. Really nice. Deck shock you have. You have with gold, with lightning, you have many other options. And I would say... That's cool. Ward gain or, or elemental damage over time. I'll ask. Not sure in that because this this belt to me goes like super crazy.
I don't know. I'm super, super confused. I want just to advertise it with one of these. Wow! I don't know about this one, but it's that's absolute madness. I'm just thinking maybe this one because you have cleans that's super important this is for world builds that uh, I can show you one specific belt that I have somewhere in my stashes why it's so cool to have something like that for example is it in here okay this one for example this is a world belt and I'll show you now. For example, see my, my life. I have 4000 ward with this belt. So we have some specific ward builds that they're crazy. So 550 ward will give you every potion in that case. So 550 plus 36 plus 51, 630-ish and it's upgradable plus cleans plus critical strike avoidance. <sighs> Nothing better than that guys. Super insane. So I'm going to bazaar. I have something. I've just sold something.
I don't Hello. know, is it expensive or it's something shitty? I assume that it's something shitty. 4 million. Yeah, this is 20 dexterity with one ballista, plus armor and physical. That it's. To me, it's shitty. So. Million. Melee void, void, melee void. I would say minion health, minion damage, void stun chain shred with potential. This one is minion damage with movement speed and vitality. Minion damage. Current health, health lost. Potion health converted to ward. Ward gain on potion use, throw damage, bones they take from criticals and double armor. Minion spell, void, void. Damage, void damage, forty. Not forty four. Crit chance, free shred ward gain of potion use. Lightning Lightning mitigation melee melee health. This is three million. Potion Multiplier Crit Chance Void with Potential Out on Melee Hit Minion melee, so it's 20. Physical, void, physical, stun chance. Melee, physical, melee, void. This one is movement speed with crafting potential.
to throw fire. Multiplier physical. Minion lightning. Minion melee lightning penetration. Melee lightning spell lightning. This is. Damage word, word. This is this is nothing. Void cold, cold poison necrotic minion. Necrotic. Dex minion stun, this is super cool. Mana necrotic felt crit chance. Kill to kill, this is not standard. Eight million. Freeze armor mitigation shred void void. We have double void with crafting potential so with not bad shred over time armor mitigation. Okay, so If you're lucky, you might go to a really go good one. This one is super expensive. This is a bit ridiculous. Okay, I want I'll try to remove the fire. I'm not giving up. Fuck off. <laughs> it gets from a uh, not so bad ways to super shit. Yes. Hello. Felt potential. If someone wants to extract, that's the only thing that you can use it for not now. Happening. Okay, so that's everything that I will tell you how to craft, how to do, what to do, where. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share. It will be much appreciated. Especially subscribe and share. There are key ones for me. The whole model of uh, YouTube is working different now. If you want to advertise yourself, you need to pay it from your pocket because actually the matrix is cutting you off. So if you share, you are advertising me and I'm breaking the YouTube's model. So if you share, that's the key. If you subscribe, it helps me to go to a pro level that I want to reach it one day. So lots of stuff. 
it, it will be a long long walk long run to go to that level but uh, i'm ready to invest that time i'm gaming 20 thir 37 years i'm playing games and i know lots about the games and uh yeah uh, tomorrow night i'm starting path of exile for a week time and i'm coming back to this game again but uh, i don't want to miss the new season because path of exile is my new it's like a lifetime favorite game is the best of the best hold on i have just found i have found an item that i want to craft multiplier electric chance melee damage melee physical damage hold 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 poison not a chance blind is cool when you press G, right blind. And press this one. Blind reduce critical strike chance and cause range attacks to be inaccurate. Blind does not stack. That's absolutely brilliant. Not happening. And uh, yep, blind is good. Super defensive. Nearly max roll. Critical strike multiplier. I could roll it. But this is like Yes. Hello. Melee, melee crit chance is max rolling there, fire distance is the same. Three meters range. So yes. I would Hello? try to sell this one for fifty eight million. And that's it for now. Yeah, I'm going back to my end of time area and I'll push 2000 corruption. It will be super cool. I've done an early morning gym and probably I'll do another one. I need to pump up to keep myself in good health condition. Training is a movement is really important. Don't stuck on the PCs and computers for too long. Like make it reasonable. Every 45-50 minutes do some break. I haven't done now but I will because I was just making the video. And I need to pass through the whole thing. I was thinking just to do one stash with items and I've done it. I've lost more time than usual because I spent 25 minutes in the dungeon. That was a total fail. But I'm sure that I'll sell something expensive because I'm selling tons of good items. Sometimes the prices are not accurate. But when I see that no one is uh, having any interest on in my expensive items, I'm just withdrawing them and reducing like 20-30% the price that I will recommend you to do that. And to do some trading, you need to uh, have lots of stashes and you need to kill mobs, 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 mobs. High corruption, 1957, it's uh, essential, it's really important. I'll show you. If I find uh, a box at the beginning, I'll show you why. And uh, you can see that I'm smashing them on high corruption. This is just 
just like showcase about how tough I am. I was planning to go even tougher for the boss fights. My helper died. I'm not sure when we'll revive. I've just revived. done you can see my damage is insane the range the gameplay the mana region everything is cool so yep if you like everything you see lots of items in here good gold good items and yeah this is 1957 corruption I'm, I'll push it. You can see one uh, 2268 increase item rarity, 2266 increase experience gain, but the life of the mobs is 2218 more health and damage. Enemies are deadly if they have not been damaged recently. That means that they will one shot you. And high health enemies take 25% less damage. This is for bosses. Anyway, thank you. Thanks for watching. Like I've said, please like, subscribe and share. I will really appreciate it. One day I'll go pro. Hope so. <laughs> I'll try to do it without uh, paying insane money. But if it's needed, I will pay the money for the advertisement. <laughs>